Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about this new AI video generation tool called Crea.ai. They have a new model where we can actually add keyframes to their generation model. So we can tell the AI model what we want in every second of the clip. So that's what we're going to see in this video. And before that, please do subscribe if you haven't to the channel and uh, let's get into the video. So when it comes to video generation models, we have lots of different companies trying out different models, right from OpenAI, Sora and uh, Stable Diffusion many other companies but one thing that is different with Priya is their ability to add keyframes to the generation which I haven't seen anywhere else before and it's definitely a step ahead the one problem which I've already spoken about in this previous video the main problem is creating context because most of these models are like you know you can just give it a prompt and it'll create a video so if you want to create like multiple clips it's really hard to like get the context from the first video to the second video or get the continuity so that's like the huge problem with like ai video generation but i think adding keyframes will take it to the next step i think we will have a little bit more control compared to just giving it one prompt we can actually split the single clip and you know give it like five different prompts on what should happen in that one single clip so i think that is more control i did try out their tool and basically they have a free plan and they also have like three different paid plans goes all the way up to like $55 a month it's just a comparative different set of features based on what how much you pay every month so they also have like other tools image AI generation and the image upscaler along with this video generation tool I didn't try their other tools I only tried this video generation tool I just logged in with my Google ID and it just looks like a timeline I already have an example there set up for you on how it works you can just grab the timeline and see like how it transforms from the first prompt to the second prompt you can set the length of the clip uh, on the right side and also if you click settings we can adjust the aspect ratio to a video just with the square aspect ratio but we can also choose like 16 is to 9 or like a vertical format if you want a vertical video there's also a slider for motion intensity which basically adjusts the way it transforms from the first prompt to the second prompt and we can also turn off or turn on the loop video if you turn on loop video transforms it back to the first frame upload it to instagram it's going to keep playing it again and again so you won't really know where it's starting now on the left we can actually download the video and what we also have like a upscale button and we also have like four different models from you know you can choose any one whichever style you want like film or animation or anything like that and that's pretty much it so mostly we just work inside this timeline and uh, it's pretty nice ui and it's pretty like you know responsive if you want any changes in between you can just drop the timeline and add a keyframe there and apart from this they also have like a separate set of videos where you can learn like how to actually give these prompts and how to use the entire tool so i did try out like few different examples but they might not be like the best things to generate with this model but they just made a man walking on the road or running on the road i brought a car behind him and you know car hits the man but obviously the example looks like really weird it's just basically trying to morph from the first prompt to the second prompt that's how it looks actually uh so the second example i actually use the animation style you know the man transforms into a dragon which looks nicer uh in this case because it's an animation style and so if you're gonna create things that actually transform you know if you're creating something like that i think you know this is really good for people who create content uh, even for like Instagram like vertical videos I think apart from that you know even though we have control it still has problems with context you know so probably the only skill you need to make sure is the prompts they need to be properly aligned but like I feel these kind of like animation these kind of stuff like looks nice when you know it morphs from some one thing to another thing you can pretty much add like keyframes basically for every frame I think this takes a while you know if to get like really good results but just like first impressions i guess it's pretty nice to have this feature so probably like i guess ai video generation is moving to the next step you know before we actually get more control but i think this is like the starting point if you guys want to try this you can definitely go and try and uh, if you probably spend like a lot of time adding actual keyframes to like every frame i guess you would be able to get like really good results feels like really nice it's not anything like complicated or anything it's really simple you can also check their other tools so if you guys haven't tried it or if you guys haven't seen it i'll put the link down in the description you can go and check it out and i'll see you guys with another new tool or a new tutorial so till then it's money thank you guys Bye.